With Doctor Who back on our screens this week, in today's video I thought I'd show you how to make the 13th Doctor's trusty sonic screwdriver. The Sonic actually starts out life as a sheet of card. Using a pencil and ruler, the first thing you'll need to do is measure out a 45 by 5 inch strip. Use some scissors to cut it out, and then do the same with another 2 by 5 inch piece of card. Roll them both up into a tube that's around 1.5 inches wide, before marking and gluing them both in place, which should leave you with two little cardboard tubes. If you want to install lights into your screwdriver like I am, then this is the point to make sure everything's going to fit. I'm going to be using these little bottle lights that you can pick up pretty cheaply online or in most craft shops. Next, using reference images, draw out two little oval windows, then repeat on the other side, and do the same for the light section on the larger piece. Then use a scalpel to very carefully cut out all your little windows, If you're using lights, at this point you'll need to mark out a hole for the button, cut it out, and test the fit. Now we can start to strengthen the cardboard pieces and give some texture to our screwdriver using paper mache. For the paper mache, mix together two parts PVA glue, with one part water into a disposable container. Use some scrunched up tin foil to support the structure, then using torn strips of kitchen paper, paper towel or newspaper, try to build up the slightly rough welded metal like texture that runs all over 13 screwdriver. Coat it in two layers of paper mache and then use it to round off the ends. Build up the curved piece at the back until you're happy with how everything looks, before leaving both pieces to dry overnight. 24 hours later you should have two set halves that look something like this. Carefully remove the foil supports, and give it a quick sand with some sandpaper to smooth off any rough edges. Then using another sheet of card we're going to cut out two thin wavy strips. These then get glued over the gaps we made for the lights, and repeat on both sides. Before using reference images, card and a scalpel to build up and cut away the pieces that run around the bottom of the larger piece. Now all we need to do is make the mid section that will hold the two halves of our screwdriver together. Once again rolling up a piece of card into a tube making sure it fits snugly within the Sonic. Then secure the tube in place, trim it to size and wrap a ring of card around the top half to add some detail. To fill in the light section I took some clear plastic, some sandpaper, and then roughed up the plastic to create a foggy glass effect that will help disperse the light more evenly. Cut it into several strips, one for each window, and then gave everything a quick spray with some chrome silver paint. All that's left to do now is begin painting, installing the lights, and the final assembly.
I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think or if you end up making this for yourself down in the comments. Thank you for watching, if you did enjoy today's video check out my models and props playlist for more projects and crafts just like this. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, it really would be greatly appreciated. Leave any suggestions for future model or prop videos you'd like to see down in the comments. I hope you have a safe, wonderful and happy new year. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.